everybody and uh, welcome to this week's video. I'm not quite sure when this one is going to be going out because uh, we're on holiday up in Scotland. Um, to try and explain where we are, we're above north of Brecon and below Aberdeen. So we're in that northeast um, area of Scotland. I wanted to do some wildlife photography while I was up here and uh, we arrived a couple of days ago and the first thing I did uh, the following morning after we arrived is I went out early and had a quick scout, scout around the area to see what I could see and uh, because obviously when you're on a family holiday you're always generally pushed for time to do some wildlife photography what I found was the best place was down at the river and uh, it's a, I think it's a quite a a well-known salmon river. Um, I'll put the name up here when I remember what it is. And uh, there is um, some gravelly areas which look particularly good for salmon, but also um, I noticed when I was down here that they'd got dippers and uh, some yellow wagtails. So. What I'm doing this morning, I'm going to come down and see if I can get some pictures of those. In fact, I can see a dipper down there at the minute. So we're, go we're going to get set up. Leia's actually come with me this morning. Um, she wants to try a hand at some wildlife photography, so um, it should make it a reasonably easy subject. I did come down, as I say, on that first day, and I sat down by the river, and I did get them coming quite close to me, so... That's what we're going to hope for um, this morning. Just going to get set up, sit down and see if we can get some images. whether you can be we'll be able to hear us here we're set up right down the side of the river our feet are almost in it actually um, from when I came a couple of mornings ago we have had quite a lot of rain and some of the pools that were here last time aren't actually here but we do have a dipper in front of us now um, so I'm going to take some film and try and get some images um, wonderful little birds and you can watch them swimming around in these pools just off the main water uh, where it's slightly slacker and then eventually they'll, they'll come up onto one of the boulders and do that characteristic bobbing. So yeah, we're going to take some uh, images. I think Leia's enjoying herself. It's nice to actually get the wildlife turn up when you want it to, which from sort of observing these a couple of days ago, there seems to be in this area three sections of these gravel banks in the middle of the river and what I was finding is that the, um, the dippers seem to be moving between the three. I had four at one time so whether it's a family that's bred earlier this year I'm not sure but yeah they just seem to hop between the three so by setting up here in the middle one um, we're getting them coming through and then disappearing off and then 10 minutes later they'll be back. So yeah it's quite a nice sort of easy introduction to wildlife photography with this wonderful little bird um, and it's something obviously because we're on a family holiday I can't really be going out for eight nine hours tramping around moorlands or whatever you know I have got to you know we'll be doing family stuff as well so to be able to get out for just an hour two hours and do something like this um, yeah it's absolutely brilliant really um, and it's it's literally 200 meters from the back door of the cottage so anyway, I'm going to start taking some images and uh, I'll catch up with you in a while. I 
as with sort of any type of wildlife photography, um, when we set up here, obviously there's an area in front of us where the dippers can come and look for food, but there's also certain rocks in the area which you know from looking at it, they'll look absolutely fantastic on. So, you know, again, you're looking at things like the background to make sure that, you know, it's clear and you can set up and actually, even though you're taking shots in the whole area, basically what you're doing is you're setting up for the point when the dipper hopefully lands on that rock that you've already identified that is the one that will give you the best background and look, you know, more aesthetically pleasing than anywhere else if you like. I mean it's been absolutely brilliant so far this morning, they've been coming right in front of us and uh, just sitting here and watching them and totally unfazed by us being here, all we've got is um, just a bit of netting up in front of us, it's not even covering us over but as long as you stay still and um, you know sort of keep, try and keep behind the camera, um, they just keep coming back down and feeding in this area. So you can spend a nice couple of hours, really easy wildlife photography. What I'm shooting with this morning, I'm shooting with um, a Canon HD with the Tamron 150 600 lens on, and Leia's shooting with a Canon 60D and the Sigma 100 400 lens on. And looking at our results, we're both getting some cracking results. They are coming reasonably close, I'd say, you know, they're about. 10 meters away at their closest, so um, you know both lenses are performing really well. Light levels are changing all the time, so what you're having to do is constantly check the ISO. I'm shooting at about the way up there in front of us. As I was saying, I'm shooting at about 320th of a second. Um, we've still got a dipper in front of us and Leia's still shooting, so I'm going to be quite quiet. Actually appeared probably about seven metres in front of us, right in front of the cameras when I was talking there, so that's why um, we stopped to do some more shooting. So yeah, the light levels are changing all the time. It's quite a dull day, but then it will get brighter. So I'm at about between 1,000 and 800 ISO. I keep switching between the two. And f6.3 to f7.1. So again, just fiddling with those settings all the time as the light, as the light level changes. Um, But yeah, they're basically just coming up in front of us and working their way up and down the river. So we're hopefully getting some lovely shots and, and quite a nice bit of footage as well. enjoyed this week's video we've certainly had a nice couple of hours down here at the river at Edsel um, not really sure when this video is going to come out simply because we've got no Wi-Fi connection at the cottage so although I can prepare it all and get it ready to release um, I might not be able to get anywhere to uh, upload it to YouTube we're probably going to come down again to this spot anyway as I say the lights a bit flat this morning um, and I think it might work quite well in sort of evening light, although we're enclosed by trees on both sides. On the western side of the bank, it's slightly more open, so I think we might get some nice evening light coming through there, um, which may make its way through to the river here and, again, improve the shots. So I hope you like the shots on this video. I hope you like the footage that we've taken. We've certainly enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please... Um, consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you soon for the next one. Cheers, bye.